Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonzalez with Go Analytics, and today I wanna show you how to connect to a folder uh, that has various files in it uh, in Power BI. So let's head over to my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so we're here in Power BI, um, and I've got a folder here of uh, it's a there's an office and the employees uh, are allowed to make expenses um, so I have a folder with several um, employees uh, and their expenses that they've been tracking so if we take a look at one of these files and they're they're all the same so we'll have a look at this one so there's a date column the employee name uh, the expense category the manager that approved it and then the amount of the expense claim so every employee has one file and we want to analyze this data all together. So of course we could run three different queries in Power BI desktop to bring all of this and then merge it together. But there is an easier way in Power BI. And the, the easier way is to actually get the entire folder in the uh, Power BI desktop. So I'll go over to my data and uh, navigate to more and then when the folder uh, when the get data dialog box opens up I can choose folder and click connect and this allows me to either enter in the folder path if I already know that or I can just use uh, the browse here so I'll go over to um, the folder where that data is so here's my employee expenses folder and I'll click OK and OK again and now Power BI is going to show me that it found three files in this folder and it'll give me some information uh, such as the date access, the date modified, date created uh, and the folder path as well. Um, you can actually click combine to combine all of these files since we know that the data structure is exactly the same for all of them uh, as we have the same columns for for each employee we could just click combine to to combine that data or we can click transform uh, if we want to make any data transformations prior to uh, to loading it into the model so we'll click combine and load and when we click combine and load power bi is going to ask us which file do, do we want um, to be the sample file? So we can choose a specific one or just choose uh, the first file. Uh, since we know that they're both, that they're all exactly the same, we can just choose the first file. Uh, and now we can choose whether we want the entire sheet um, or the table that Power BI recognized. So I'll just choose this table uh, and we'll click OK and Power BI will just uh, evaluate all of this and create the data model and put it all together into um, into one query where we can actually get data from. So now we have our employee expenses here and I'll just create a table to show you how that worked. So I'll bring over the uh, employee name and the uh, total amount that they had expensed and you'll see here we have uh, each employee um, and the total amount that they had in their expense claim reports uh, which were all in separate files as we saw at the beginning so that's how you can connect to a folder in power bi if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel to get more how-to videos and become a power bi expert See you next video.